guys, it's Healy, and as you can see, I'm back in my classroom. Today is going to be the official start of this year's classroom setup series. It's already like 11, so I don't know how long I'll be here today, but this will just kick it off. It's not going to be as intense as last year because, as you can tell, I was able to keep up most of my stuff, which is awesome. At the end of last year, I just had my kids <laughs> label all of these signs that say, do not touch, please, so our custodians knew to just keep it there. So I'm going to give you guys an overview before we get started with anything of how my room is looking right now and how it was left. I'm just so happy I don't have to do like all those little bulletin boards again. So I'm keeping those the same. Right, so here's an overview of the room. There are 21 desks right now. On my list I currently only have 20 kids. At the end of the year I had them in groups. And now they're spaced out again. So I don't know if we have to do spacing again. That'll be really tight now. I'm going to show you guys my team teacher's room. Hi. So I just <laughs> Welcome to her classroom. Everything off my walls. Um, front bulletin board. I didn't even use it last year. But that's not too bad. Like the white spots from the... <laughs> yeah, if you're going to put more stuff up, it could cover it. I have like all this to put up there. So it's like all of our skills. Oh, vocab. cute. And our I can statements, and the problem last year was I made them like this big, so mm -hmm. I couldn't write on them. But here, I feel like this is big enough where like I can write down everything yeah. I'm working on. And I think it'll cover that, but the back wall is like that bulletin board is just a mess. So I'm probably just gonna work Oh my god, it, it really already does look like with the greens and blues and like the watercolor, it like brings it all together. I know, but then I started incorporating like fun colors like this. I took your multiples idea. Cute. And this is the junk that I brought today. I still have more in my house and in my trunk, but it was raining, so I didn't want to get it wet. I'm gonna take off all of these little sticky notes. <laughs> This one fell off my mirror at the end of last year. I might have to put a new thing on it, but this is my affirmation mirror, same as last year. If you're interested in getting my affirmation cards, they're on my Teacher's Day Teacher's store, so I will have that link down below. <laughs> already like sweating so I took off my sweatshirt and wearing my cute little fifth grade shirt that I got from Etsy I took off almost all of like the sticky notes and now I just need to pull off these big things <laughs> I forgot that I came in and like shoved some stuff <laughs> in my classroom like the week after school ended. Um, so I have two of these lap desks from the Target Dollar Spot. I think I put the rest in a cabinet. Yeah. I have those clear caddies from the Target Dollar Spot. What else? Where did I put the... Hmm. I know I got like border. I don't even know where I put it. I literally don't know where I put some of this stuff. or try to salvage these borders. They actually look really good. You can't even like see the um, staple holes, but I'm obviously throwing this out. 
Well, I'll try to recycle it, but this is wrapping paper. This, like, scalloped border, I have so much of this, so I'm probably just going to throw it out. It got, like, ripped and stuff anyway because of the material. I'll put plain white. So this is the bulletin board paper that I got from Michaels. I think it was from Michaels. Or Hobby Lobby. No, from Hobby Lobby. Plain white, and then probably the same black and white polka dot border. But I'm going to just do half or maybe, like, a small portion as like my teacher area bulletin board and then the rest is gonna be like the kids work or something I don't know we'll see what I do I had to switch over to my phone for a sec because my camera died but my team teacher Erin helped me do this I don't know how I did my bulletin board by myself last year because this was a struggle but this is actual bulletin board paper it looks super wrinkly in the bottom which is really irritating me this is actual bulletin board paper last year like this thing right here this grayish wooden stuff is not bulletin board paper it's a wrapping paper and i just feel like it's more durable and better quality and it's way cheaper like i got that roll um on clearance after christmas for like 250 and there's so much still left but that's what it looks like so far and we are going to add the border <laughs> that little section and that's what it looks like i think it's really cute this is definitely gonna bother me i don't know maybe i don't know i tried to like get it underneath oh my goodness that's literally terrible Okay, so the borders are done. The only thing that is really irritating my soul is that it is a little wrinkly at the bottom, but uh, I don't know, man. I don't know how to fix it. It's too late. This is going to be my little area. It'll be a student area, and I like this better. I feel like it's a better use of the space because it's such a big bulletin board. Okay, so I have the bulletin board letters cut out. I cut them with my silhouette and I just put them in bags. This one just says Miss, and I think my idea was to keep these, but I think it would be too much with this black and white polka dot and then that black and white polka dot. So I might just cut DeMello in plain black cardstock like this. And then this one is for this little section that's going to be like, um, let's root for each other and watch each other grow because in the beginning of the year, I'm going to put their goals up here. The only thing is, if I staple this, that's going to have to stay there, like, forever. Because if I take it off, it'll ruin it, I think. I saw somewhere, probably on Instagram, this hack where you use thumbtacks or pushpins to, like, set out your um, <laughs> bulletin board letters before you staple them. But it's leaving, obviously, little holes everywhere, but... I mean, it's not super noticeable and like stuff is going to cover it eventually, I hope. But I'm trying to get the lettering centered. It's going to say let's root for each other and watch each other grow. I have these cute little plant printout things from at the designer teacher on Instagram through her teachers, pay teachers. Um, that's meant to like write their goals on it. <laughs> Okay, I have it all stapled. I just need to go in and color these staples with Sharpie. I probably should have done that before, but it's fine. This is what it looks like when it's actually colored in with black Sharpie, so it looks pretty good. Just have to do all of this now. I'm currently ripping this off my desk because I'm gonna try to use this adhesive contact paper. We'll see. I know Emma from um, Emma in elementary didn't really peel the adhesive. She just kind of taped it. So I don't know, I might do that because I'm kind of scared about ruining the desk. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm trying to decide if this is like too much. Like, I don't know, because I have that black and white polka dot border and then my desk. But I don't know, it does look cute. <sighs> we'll see. Luckily, I just taped it. I didn't like peel the adhesive, so I can kind of see how I feel. Okay, so I moved my desk where it's going to be. This is pretty much where it was last year too, but I like that I have this now to kind of let me know if my desk is sliding forward because sometimes it would do that last year and then I'd have like so much space back here, but this is like a good amount of space. I actually think I want to move my rocking chair to that side and I'm hoping we get to have our rugs back. Like the classroom came with a dark blue rug, but they took it out for COVID. So I'm hoping we get it back this year because I want to do like morning meeting and closing circle on the rug. So I might move my rocking chair over there. So I have these um, printable I can statement posters as a freebie on my teachers pay teachers, but I actually updated mine. So I'm recycling these and I'll print the new ones. It's pretty similar. I just, I know I'm going to be changing these labels. So I'm just taking these all out and then next time I'll probably replace them. So I'm just trying to tidy up because I have to head out soon. I'm grabbing my lamination sheet so I can um, laminate stuff at home because I have so much stuff to laminate and cut. My camera is dying and I'm going to be leaving so I'm going to do a quick overview from day one. So that was classroom setup day one. I feel like I just got my bulletin board kind of done. I still have a few things to do for it and then covered my desk with the paper but I don't know where the time went. It's 2.19 and I'm pretty sure they would kick us out at 2.30 anyway. So I'm gonna head out, get some lunch with Brendan. Stay tuned for the next classroom setup video. Make sure you're subscribed and click the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.